there. And Mr. Wright, I have not heard from him. All right, you have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mike. All right, the next item is approval of agenda. We've got all that in an email. Anybody have to any? approve? Thank Second. you. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. All Aye. opposed? Thank you. Citizens or delegations present? Anybody have anything to say? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we need the, the approval of minutes for our last meeting, July the 8th. So Thank you, buddy. Second. Thank you, Mr. Isabel. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, financial report. Okay, if you look at your balance sheet detail, you'll see that the investment pool has $823,000 in it, and the bank account has almost $6 million. So we're in good shape financially. Thank you, Carolyn. Anybody have any questions? Thank you, buddy. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? County Mayor's report. No report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. ECD Director's report. Yes, sir. We'll make it quick here. 131 incidents since our last meeting, July 8th. That includes mapping, addressing, and IT. Caliber was on site for a business process review for CAD and mobile. Two days in July, uh, I was heavily attended from the uh, from the client agency side on for mobile on the second day. Had a great turnout, so we do have a lot of buy-in from our client agencies, which is exactly what we want. Caliber installed some software. They were on site in August. They will uh, be back in late October, early November for a workshop for for more CAD stuff. So uh, this the project is moving along really well. I know that we initially told you that the go live date would likely be November of 25, and the way this progress is going now, we're likely going to be well ahead of schedule. So uh, we may be uh, maybe up and live with our CAD and RMS well before then. All the damaged components from the June 16th lightning strike have been repaired or replaced with the exception of the camera system. There are some components there that are uh, probably not replaceable, and we're waiting on the county insurance, I'm sorry, the insurance agent for the county to respond back to what the uh, installation agent from the camera system seven years ago sent to us to see if that's going to be covered and if we're going to be able to replace the entire camera system or just parts. Uh, so that's the only thing that's left from that. Uh, and that is all of my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Director. Any questions for Mike? All right, we'll move on to the ECC Director's Report. All right, I will give that you report on that. behalf. Yes, sir. So uh, a little bit of an uptick in calls <coughs> from June for the last three months. July and August were, were a little bit higher. August fell slightly. Call volume, however, 911 admin calls, they were uh, continued to trickle up. This, uh, we actually, I think this, no, that's correct. We've hired three TCs in the last quarter. One was a rehire. She uh, she left, gone to another agency, but uh, decided to come back to us. Currently have two vacancies on the floor. We have two additional vacancies. One is a brand new position that the county allowed the ECC to have, which is a uh, QA quality assurance supervisor. And then our operations manager took a new position that was created at EMA. Therefore, we have a uh, a promotion from training supervisor up to operations so that position will be filled we're wasting no time doing that that should be those two positions should be filled next week and the ones that fill those positions will hopefully be filled by the end of the month so moving on from there uh, and then of course we're continuing to cross train agency wide to make sure that all of our telecommunicators have all the experience for all of our client agencies any questions for Mike well we're in a lot better shape with the Employment that we yeah. have been a long time. The, oh, at the beginning of August, we were fully staffed, which I think is the first time that's happened ever. I first think. time I ever remember. Yes, sir. It so I'm first doing, doing really well. So it is first. Yes, sir. No Thank old business, Mr. Chairman. All right. How about the new business? Yes, sir. The Phillips and Ralston engagement letter, I sent that to you. George Phillips is who uh, I've been talking to about potentially representing the ECD uh, for legal matters. Uh, included in the engagement letter that I sent you uh, were the fees, and those are uh, for general um, incidents that he's going to be involved in, uh, 300 an hour for meetings if we want him to attend, and he would like to attend a few of those just to get a feel for the board and to uh, answer any questions that you might have, 200 an hour and paralegal 165 an hour. Uh, that seems pretty consistent. Uh, Mr. Phillips is also the, uh, uh, the representative for the airport authority as well, so he does have some, uh, some knowledge of other government entities. 
Uh, so I would recommend that uh, this board does accept the engagement letter from Phillips and Ralston. This is a one-year contract? Sir? Is this a one-year contract? Uh, it's ongoing until we decide to sever okay. uh, ways there. So we won't have to renew it with any no, sir. Okay. Oh, no, sir. <coughs> we have a motion on the floor. Uh, Mr. Schaefer is the primary. Thank you. So I hear a second. Second. Thank you, Mayor. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Uh, all opposed? All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Cybersecurity policies. This is just uh, so we can maintain our cybersecurity measures. Um, uh, Rich has created four policies, email, password, general technology, and general cybersecurity. These were all based on either policies from other similar agencies or from CISA, which is the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. It's a nationally recognized agency. I certainly think that these policies are going to uh, carry us forward in the cybersecurity <coughs> realm and certainly, uh, certainly needed. Um, uh, he will be creating some more policies as we go along, so um, I certainly recommend that, uh, that you pass these um, so we can implement these. Also, once we get through here, uh, then we will approach the ECC and most likely implement those at the ECC level as well. The same policies? The same policies, just change ECD to ECC. Yes, sir. Do I hear a motion for approval to implement these policies? Motion to approve. Thank you, Mayor. Second. 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 Thank you. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay. Vehicle use policy, we have two vehicles at the ECD now. They're owned by the ECD. Uh, and as my email said, that I created this policy before two weeks ago when we had our, uh, our little crash. So uh, this, is, uh, this is just to protect the interest of the ECD and to ensure that we're following our policy and uh, limit our exposure to liability. They're here motion for approval of the vehicle policy. Thank you, Archie. Second. Second. Thank you. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Who's the, who the second one? No, I'll tell you. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I meant to tell you on that. Uh, this policy mirrors a lot of what's in the existing county vehicle policy, uh, and it's probably just a little bit, a little more strict also than the county policy as well. So I guess the chairman being getting the vehicles written out of them. Yeah, something like that. Everything. Yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> we there's two there, vehicles. So. Who's got that? We need to try hard. <laughs> Lastly, the uh, AT&T contract. So currently, the ECD pays for a Metro East circuit that goes to all of our law client agencies. Okay, that's how we connect to them for RMS. Uh, we can print to, to those agencies from, uh, from the ECC for criminal histories or, or other secure measures. Uh, AT&T has, uh, has proposed to us a uh, little bit better and more up-to-date solution. The solution that we have is several years old, so it is time to update that. The good part about this, um, let me say the bad part first, it's a three-year commitment. Uh, however, with this new contract, it does have significant savings, save about $4,000, about $4,000 per month for us. Um, we will be getting uh, a little bit of new equipment, uh, and the, the resiliency of this product is, is much better also. Still a Metro E, still uh, high level for, for what we need, uh, quick turnaround if, there are any, if there's any downtime. I will say <coughs> with, the, with the Metro E circuits that we have currently, we've experienced very little downtime. So uh, Rich and I certainly recommend this and think this uh, is the correct way to go technologically speaking for the ECD and the ECC. Is it an upfront cost to get this read? Like yes, uh, I've had that And then there. we'll start it's saving money? Just monthly. under $1,000 for the upfront cost, but then the recurring costs are about $4,000 less per month. So okay. we'll, yeah. we'll eat that okay. quickly. Um, so I'm sorry, it'll offset. The upfront cost will be offset by the savings really? yeah. almost immediately. Motion on the floor to approve a contract for AT&T. Second. Thank you, Mr. McKinnis. Any questions? All in favor? Uh, All opposed? <clears throat> okay. Don't forget the next meeting is on a Tuesday, not a Monday, because uh, the second Monday will fall on Veterans Day. Therefore, November 12th, Tuesday, will be our next meeting. I thought this was awesome. Motion to approve. Uh, adjourn. Thank, Thank you. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Man, I'm glad you called. <laughs>